This is just one of the many times that God speaks to, uh, to Moses and reveals himself to him in solitude. Now turn to 1 Kings 19. 1 Kings 19. Start at verse 9. And here's a situation where the prophet Elijah, one of the dopest prophets in the Old Testament, the prophet Elijah has just, just destroyed the prophets of Baal. He talked to the people of Israel, and he was like, look, we're going to have a competition. We're going to find out who, who's, who's really God. You guys keep running after that false God. So we're going to have 1 Kings 19, 19, 19. So they have this competition, and, and the false prophets can't call down fire. And, and Elijah makes such a crazy display. I mean, they drench the, the offering and there's water everywhere. And, and when he prays, it's not no cutting itself. It's not no crying out in a whole bunch of tongues. And he just said, God sent fire and fire fell. And it licked up all of the water. Everything was scorched. Like Elijah just had this incredible victory. And then he was like, okay, now it's time to kill all the prophets of Baal. And so they wipe them out. And Queen Jezebel, she says, okay, Elijah, she sends word to him. What you did to my prophets, I'm going to do to you. And it says Elijah was shook, man, so, so he goes on the run. He goes on the run. And, and look at this. Verse, uh, chapter 19, we'll start in verse 9, all right? Uh, and I wanted to read this whole thing, but I can't. Just read all of chapter 19 in your own time. But verse 4 says, but he, he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness. And, and the crazy thing is he went this day's journey to get away, to run away. And he said, God, like, yo, I'm done. I'm done. I'm, 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 I quit. You know, just take me now. And it says he fell asleep. He was tired. Yo, guys, sometimes we need some rest. We can't keep running at the pace that we're running at. There's a reason that, that God created on six days, and on the seventh, he created, he created a Sabbath. Not because he was tired, but because he knew we would be. So we actually need to take a rest. We need to unplug from everything and just rest. Just be in his presence. Find some silence and some solitude. And so here's what he says. Chapter 19, verse 9. It says this, um, there he came to a cave and lodged in it, and behold, the word of the Lord came to him, and he said to him, what are you doing here, Elijah? He said, I have been, I've been very jealous for the Lord, the God of hosts, for the people of Israel have forsaken your covenant, thrown down your altars, and killed your prophets with the sword, and I, even I only am left, and they seek my life to take it away. Ain't that how we be sometimes? Like, we're the only ones going through. And he said, go out, God said, go out and stand out or stand on the mount before the Lord. And behold, the Lord passed by and a great and strong wind tore the mountains and broke in pieces the rocks before the Lord. Right? This wind comes and the wind is so crazy, it's crushing rocks. Crazy, right? But look, though, it said, said, broke the rocks before the Lord, but the Lord was not in the wind. And after the wind, an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. Now, God said, yo, I want you to go stand out there. And you see some wind that's busting rocks. And in an earthquake, I'm thinking God is like right there. Look at what he says. He said he wasn't in the wind. He wasn't in the earthquake. And after, uh, uh, after the earthquake, a fire, verse 12, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, the sound of a low whisper. The, the closer we get to him, the softer his voice becomes. Verse 13 says, and when Elijah heard it, he wrapped his face in the cloak and went out and stood at the entrance of the cave. And behold, there came a voice to him and said, what are you doing here, Elijah? God began to speak to him. And see, see, we want to run to the earthquakes 
and we want to run to the fire, and we want to run to the wind, and, and oh, so-and-so is having a healing crusade, and they're doing this over here, and such and such is going to prophesy over you, and, and, and we're running to all of these places, and God is just like, yo, man, come to the cave, bro. Like, you, 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 you really want to hear from me? Come on into the cave. Come spend some time with me. 